Greetings, fellow citizens. I am the Senate Dude, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. When we last left off, we helped out a widow who was starving and her husband died. Uh, we we're about, we've made a plan to take John out of jail. We got into a hot air balloon, the operator died, and uh, found this crazy dude and took him back to his village or whatnot. But now... We're gonna do something a little different. You remember this laboratory? Well, as it turns out, you can actually go back to it, and there is a little unmarked quest you can do, because I discovered it in the achievement logs while looking over it on Steam. Why? Because Steam is good. Alright. This is Marco Dragic's lab. Oh! Where is your creation now? Jeez. Oh. I got an achievement. You discovered the fate of Marco Dragic. I got an electric lantern. Huh. An electric lantern previously owned by Marco Dragic. Alright. Alright, we got a new lantern. Jeez, what happened to him? What's this? It's a note. Invisible waves, ghost wave, mystery waves, magic waves, waves you cannot see. Inventor's note. Isn't there anything else here? Oh, here's another note. Oh. Take the note. Light inventors note. It says life plan, I think it is. Five years. One automaton receive funding. Win top scientist prize. Two automatons become very much ran. Automaton army. Take over world. <laughs> he wanted to take over the world. Take this Valerian root. What's in here? His bedroom. Oh, hold on, I need to eat shit. There we go, I ate shit. Oh, take this silver pocket watch he had. Oh, there's the uh, remote that we operated before. Jeez, what happened to the professor? I think that robot got out and strangled him. Cigarettes. Rest in peace, Professor Dragic. Hmm. Let's see if there's anything up here in the old tower. Nothing here. <clears throat> Alright, so... There actually is... You actually can find the robot. I looked this up. And we're gonna show him... Uh... And then we're gonna do the Henry Lemieux mission. On, pal. So if we look towards where the robot has gone, 
He will be actually nearby Coulter. Uh, right around here. So, hold on one second. Da -da -da. Right around there. And we're gonna so we're gonna head up north, follow the train tracks, and then we will get to the robot. Alright, so now we have Alright, so now we have made our way into the snow region. And you see these footprints? These will this is the robot's footprints. Oh, there he is. Whoa. Sorry, bot. Well, I killed it. <laughs> I'm Sam Papa. That's actually nice. So this is where he went all this way. Rest in peace, Marco Dragic and his robot. All right, now. Whoops. Whoops. No. So what we're going to do now is do the Mayor of Saint Denis. Oh, there's another stranger mission in Saint Denis. All right, let's go. Alright, let's go. Talk to the mayor. Alright, here we are. Idealism and pragma pragmatism for beginners. Oh, it's you. I got his letter. Uh, Mr. Arthur. Sir? Education is the most wonderful thing. It'll raise us higher and higher. Make civics and ethics less a work of uh, dirty-minded pragmatists like me. And the calling of higher, better men. Here, here. Without it, we are savages. But with learning, why, in 50 years, man will put down his guns and start living a life of relentless purity. Here, here. <laughs> <laughs> but the rich can be so very self absorbed. How can I help? You can't. We need all our strengths. That's the point. We've gone over this. Violence is never right. I agree with you, but it's not violence. It's the mere threat of violence. Against whom? Oh, <laughs> against Hector Fellow's worst nature. To convince him to make good on his promise to help finance the library. Who is he and where do I find him? He's a newspaper man, and he's... He's leaving town on a coach, heading to his country estate, 
because he doesn't like your heavy-handed approach. Well, he certainly won't like my heavy-handed approach. Thank you, Mr. Arthur. You'll spot him on the road through the bayou. He has a red coach. So we are clear. I do not approve of this behavior. I'm acutely aware of that. I can tell that that dude probably does not like the mayor much. Go to the St. Denis exit near the bayou. Alright. Call the horse. The mayor horse. Come on now, boy. Let's go. Wait for a red stage co- Fuck. Oh, oh. Wait. Bandana. Waiting for a stagecoach. Board the stagecoach. Mr. Fellows, ain't it? Charity, sir. And an appeal to your better nature. This is most impudent. Oh, no, it's not most impudent. Trust me, buddy. I can get a whole lot more impudent, but this is a good cause for a wealthy man such as yourself. A chance to add some dignity to all that wealth. Dignity? By helping to finance a library in town. Think of the prestige, sir. Oh, get out of my carriage. But the mayor... The mayor? <laughs> the mayor is a crook. <laughs> I will not be bullied by you, sir. Get out of here. All right. Grab. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that? Yes, I'd like to finance the library for the common good. <laughs> I didn't hear you. See? That wasn't difficult. You know, they say it's better to give than to receive. And certainly in the case of a beating, I know that's true. Now, the mayor awaits your check, sir. Been a pleasure. There's a good man in there. Let him live a little more. Robert! Hold up! <clears throat> As you were. Come on! All right, now we go to return to the mayor's house after dark. Hey, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Morning, Arthur. Well, we're back. That was some coming home party. We need to get out of here. I'll speak to Dutch. Morning. Get that horse out of here. Just calm down. Yep. How you doing? A good day. It was a doggy. Yeah, okay, Linda. 
Hi, Karen. Come here. Oh, good doggy. Uh-huh. Morning. Another day. Sleep. Until night. Hello there, mister. Oh, hello. You must be real lonely out here, friend. Hello, mister. So, you hungry, huh? I got food. I got food inside. Come along. Oh, this is a so a trap, but I'm just gonna go for it. Now come here. <laughs> oh, ha ha ha! Don't you hate old Sonny now? Don't hate him. What? Oh, you struggled. And you lost. But it was quite a tussle, I tell you. Quite a tussle, my pet. <laughs> See? Friendship ain't so tough. And neither is you. What the fuck was that all about? Oh my lord. Where the fuck? He was right there. Why did he only take a dollar from me? Let's go back and kill him. Get on the horse. Get on the ground. Why you don't be pointing that at me? Give me back my dollar. Fucking creep. What a creep. Hold on, wait. Let's get the horse here and get the shotgun. Shotgun. All right. Bye, bitch. Oh, what the fuck? Do I need a better shotgun? All right, let's pick him up. Alright, let's find a gator and feed this body to the gator. Let's go 
we'll feed him to a gator. See how he likes it. Feed him to the gators. Gator. American alligator. Wait. What? Yeah. All right. Let's go meet back up with the mayor. It's you. Come in. Where's what's his name? Jean-Marc, he's a little histrionic. I'm worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Uh. <laughs> Look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me, and it probably shall. Yes. Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. But well, please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. My pleasure. Listen, Mr. Arthur, I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much, but... But what? Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. How'd you mean? Uh, saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Is that my business? Oh, no. No. <laughs> of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's all scurrilous lies, of course. But... What sort of news? Oh. <laughs> I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, I'm a public servant, and we are friends. Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Rue de Zachary. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you, Mayor. Farm, field, and falcony. Go to Jean-Marc's house, and we are presumably going to kill him. I would love to kill him. Why? Because it's good. Let me get that marker off. Where's that marker at? Oh, it's right there. Take that off. Let's get on the horse. Okay, fella. Oh, what the fuck? The law were alerted? Oh. All right, it's gone. Wait, is it? Yeah, it's gone. All right, let's go.
Why you wanna go and say those awful things about me, buddy? <laughs> Best not to make a big drama of things. Come on, let's go see your boss. This is gonna hurt, but it's for the best. All right. Come on. Back at the mayor's house. We made it. Yeah. Let's go take this Frenchie. Show him what it is when he opens. Quick, Mr. Arthur. Bring him around the back. Follow the mayor. Oh, Jean-Marc, Jean-Marc. Uh, I've missed you. I've missed you. What silly, silly man we have been. They will see you. Come on. Who's they? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know who they is. They could be like freaking French Mafia or something. I don't know if there's a French Mafia, to be honest with you. Follow me. Here. Drop. My brother, my brother. Jean-Marc, oh, we've been so... Uh, I promised to change. I know. Ah, uh, what well, a silly, silly misunderstanding. You see, the problem is principles will destroy us all. Sure. As long as you two are friends again. Yes. And you say you've changed, so we will run the city like men of honor, like you said. Uh, of course, of course. We... We will strive to improve the city's moral backbone by any means available to us. Within reason, yes. Yes, yes. Within my reason. Because I am the mayor, Jean-Marc. And I will save you from yourself. Because it's better to get something done than nothing at all, like you said. Utterly, utterly corrupted, Lemieux. You've not changed at all. I've been supplanted in your esteem by a wanted murderer. You... you shame me. <laughs> no, sir. You shame me with your vain naivete. Oh, how I long for the luxury to have principles such as you. But I must actually do things. I see now. You're... you're lost to reason. Yeah. And I see now that you're a horrible little wretch and a sinner yourself. Your sin is deluded vanity. Now, sir, I am afraid that you must kill him. I will pay you handsomely. And Jean-Marc, I will miss you. I really shall. Kill him. It must be so. Please. 
You're not really going to kill me, are you? Mm, thought I might. But uh, all I did was love too much. Love. My duty. Yeah, but you're running your I'll mouth you out about of it. me, buddy. And him. He'll betray you just like he's betrayed me. Lumiere's a foul rat, but I'm a man of my word. Let me live and I'll... I'll, I'll destroy him. And I'll make sure you're left well alone. Come on, please. Please, come on. You wouldn't shoot a, a sad little man, would you? Go. I might be a brute, but I'm not a paid killer. Get out of here. Don't mention me, boy. You're a good man. Hmm. I feel like I'm not in the mood for corrupt politicians, if you get my meaning. It's not right. You know, uh... We need to strive to be the best we can be. And that man was never the best he could be. Now... Let's be... Let's be men we can be. Come on, horse A. Let's go, boy. New journal entry. Huh. He spelled John Mark. Oh, hey, Arthur. Talk to Ditch. White to D4, black to F5, white to G3, knight to F6, bishop to G2, black to G6, knight to F3, white to D4. Black. You okay there? Fine. Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back. And I'm sitting here. And I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my, my final move, but... I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than being in a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss. <sighs> um, I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we going to run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my bag? 
Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now, and I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we there just- is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek, I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you can take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Dutch is losing his fucking mind. Charles. Charles. Be right with me. Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brew Country. Yes. Why well, I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. Hello, Mary Beth. What are we doing there? Hey. We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? Mm. You'll see. I know the way. Follow me. I think Charles might be my favorite character. Come on now, boy. I mean, Arthur's great and all, but I like Charles. We need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in an another day or two. Yeah. The sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? Uh, let's take a canoe. Yeah, boat's probably a good idea. Okay, good. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there. Keeping everyone together? Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. Hello. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition to yours. <laughs> Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. Where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there, called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh... I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Yeah, you're right. Just... It's been... Uh... I guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course. There's the bridge. There should be some canoes down to the right here. Well, I see one anyway. And that'll do. Come on. Get in the canoe. <sighs> Butcher Creek is a few miles upriver. So I spent some time up this way while you were gone. 
I ran into rains fall and the eagle flies. The Indians? And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. That's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble and then in the war. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. And we're gonna need to be careful. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Great! Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here. It's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. Just be ready. It won't be pretty. So be it. Riding in a canoe. About to get here, and I ran into the Murphys before. Let's walk it from here. All right. Good evening. Oh, there's, a, there's fish on the ground. Oh boy. Free hail, stranger. Might watch where you wander. It's a bit of a walk. We could grab those horses if you want. Probably won't miss them if we get them back by morning. All right, I'll take this one. <laughs> Folks don't want to come around here. Ain't exactly a welcoming place. Lots of stories of people going missing around these parts. Just recently, a stagecoach from Manisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Guess that's good for us. <clears throat> Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their home, which I'm sure they won't be too pleased about. No, but I believe they hide out all over Roanoke Ridge. These caves are just one of their spots. Which is why we should keep it down. We might have lookouts around. Okay. You see that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of them. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me, stay quiet. Let's go, Arthur. Uh, all right. Let's get closer to him. Dude, I, I just love Charles. I'm really glad that Rockstar uh, added him in. He's not in the first game. Come on, up this way. Already for Christ's sake! 
Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Do the skinning. Well, how about I do the skinning? Then who do the care? What are you waiting for? Good job. Ha ha! Use the bow. Must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Oh, jeez. What was that dude's face? Wait a machete. And a tomahawk. Stagecoach went missing. <laughs> Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? I'm gonna head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. <sighs> Sneak. Let's surprise them in there. Okay. Let's get a little closer. Ready? Let's get this over with. See, the, the second dude dies, just, he just dies. Oh. That dude alive. Looks like it's on there, Charles. You were wrong about these crazy sons of bitches. Uh, I'm gonna wear you to church, boy. You're gonna wear me to church, eh? Just calm down. 
Please don't kill me. We ain't gonna hurt you. All right, open the cage. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. You're safe. It's okay. It's time to go. It's okay. Okay. Let's go. Where are you from? Andersburg. What do we do with her? Take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. <clears throat> Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. <clears throat> Andersburg, right? Yes. They, 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 um. It's okay, miss. The others, they, they killed them. You're safe now. Just try to breathe. They're animals. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right, miss. Poor lady. Because they're evil. Evil Some and... Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. See? I haven't slept in days. <laughs> I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Go to Annisburg. Well, that's where we're going. I like that timing of the evil statement. You're doing good, girl. Good girl. All right, let's go. Just head for the main street. It'll be easier to walk from there. Yes. Oh. Oh. Thank God. Which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Mona. Ma! Ma! Meredith! She's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, ma'am. Murphy Group got Oh, my God. How did you manage uh, to? I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Keep it. I'm in a nice mood. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just... Keep her warm and keep her safe. <sighs> Mrs. Dow? Oh no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Glad. Huh. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. <laughs> Took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe 
I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah, he's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dort, did you miss me? I found her drunk in San Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, almighty. Calm down. I won't be ignored. George Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. Are any of your stooges? Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told them and I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery. And I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard! Go on, She's shoot me! Crazy. She ain't worthy. <laughs> you told on no, me! You're you not betrayed so big now, me! Fine! You? you calm down. Arthur? <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You're not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You. Oh! <laughs> Miss Grimshaw. She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Yeah. <sighs> Chapter 6, Beaver Hollow. Well... Again. <laughs> no traitors. <laughs> You're a nasty woman, Miss Crenshaw. Deliver Meredith to her mother, get 15 headshots, 85% accuracy. I didn't. <sighs> you think I wanted to shoot her? You seem to like it. I saw that speedy look in your eyes. You're drunk again. And you're a fucking murderer. She broke the rules. She did no such thing. She was in love. You sour faced old crow. God damn you. Murderer. All right, we'll shave the beard. All right, well, uh, we're at a new camp again, so yeah. Morning, Morgan. So here we are. Can't believe that bitch Molly ratted us out. Uh, if she even did. Uh, all right, well, everyone, uh, hey, we're close to. The other people now, eh? Yeah, we'll go visit Charlotte and Edith Downs when we get the chance. And, uh, well, I need to do that other mission in St. Denis. Or Saint Denis. So we'll do those side missions, including the one with Obadiah uh, next episode. Mainly a side mission episode next episode. So, yeah, everyone, uh, thank you all for watching. And I yield the floor.